What is going on, Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global here, back with another video. Y'all already know that I'm bringing back another video as the New England Patriots continue here to make selections. Honestly, I'm surprised they haven't seen more trades, especially trade downs, but we haven't seen trade downs, haven't seen trade ups, and it's not looking like that's going to be much of a thing at all for this year's draft outside of the Christian Barmore trade. But in this one, Bill Belichick has finally decided to go the Michigan route, which he does every single year at some point, by drafting linebacker Cameron McGrone with the 177th pick in the fifth round. And this is another steal for Belichick. I, I truly, truly, truly do believe that. Now, I do understand why McGrone did drop down in some boards here, especially uh, clearly this board. And we'll get into that later but an excellent selection, truly an excellent sh selection here for Bill Belichick, especially in the fifth round. I had him going in my mock draft um, early on in this process, around that second to, to third range. And there were a lot of times that he would even go before I could select him. So, you know, PFF does have, I believe, a fourth round grade on him. I was never seeing Cameron McGrone being around in the fourth round in any mock drafts that I was doing. But overall, McGrone was one of the best linebackers in this year's class. And I say linebacker in a sense of true linebackers, not edge defenders who can also be linebackers. But McGrone is six foot one, 236 pounds, brings a decent build here. Some people might be a little bit turned off on his grades, but I really don't believe that that is true and evident to how he can be as a player. In 2020, he had a PFF grade of 58.9 and, and 2019, a grade of 69.1. He played five games in 2020, and a big reason of that was because of injury. I'm going to pause for a second because that that fits in perfectly to why I think his draft stock went down and ultimately why the Patriots were able to grab him here in the fifth round. He tore his ACL only back in November. That's why he played five games and ultimately that's going to turn off a lot of teams, especially when by the start of the regular season, it won't even have been a year since he tore that ACL. And those injuries are big. Those injuries can really affect a career. And ultimately, I believe that's what led to his draft stock dropping. And again, what led the Patriots being able to pick him up here in the fifth round. Now, Belichick also has come out and said that they likely will not play him at least the start of the season, but I would expect Cameron McGrone to kind of be potentially IR'd here for the Patriots. You know, again, this ACL injury, they don't want to, you know, further the potential problems with him. They want to take it easy with him. The Patriots always take it easy for the most part with their rookies anyway. They don't get a lot of snap time. And luckily enough for the Patriots, they're sitting at a position where linebacker, edge rusher, it is stacked. So essentially, they don't necessarily need Cameron McGrone to come in the first month, the second month, the th you know third month, and, and play for them. So while I am hyped to see how Cameron McGrone plays, and I think a lot of you are also, we're going to have to try to tame those expectations because Belichick is going to take it very, very slow with Cameron McGrone after that injury. But he played 276 defensive snaps in 2020. He had 31 pass rush snaps, 132 run defensive snaps, and 113 coverage snaps. Had 17 tackles, uh, 8 assisted tackles, and 0 missed tackles. In 2019, he appeared in 12 games, had 667 defensive snaps, 77 pass rush, 309 run defensive snaps, and 281 coverage snaps with 80, with 54 rather total tackles, 8 assisted tackles, and 9 missed tackles. I think he'll bring pretty nice versatility, but he brings even better range. That's what PFF has his biggest strength being is his range, but that biggest weakness being his ball production. Again, I think that's what's going to, you know, or I essentially think that's what also turned off a good amount of teams, the injuries, but also the ball production. But that production, the stats don't always go to be true and evident to how good a player essentially is. 
They have his NFL comparison to being a guy like Malik Jefferson, who I think is a definitely a good comparison for him here. And I honestly think that this has the potential to be the guy who can take over after Dante Hightower leaves. Getting that guy in before Hightower leaves has been very, very important for the Patriots, not just for Hightower, but always getting in, um, you know, the new guy before the veteran leaves. And I could see McGrone definitely taking over that role. They do have similarities. You know, coverage is not something you want to put McGrone in. He graded as a 46.5, not good at all. Just like Hightower, not good in coverage. Very good as a run defender, though. That's probably his cup of tea as they graded him 74 overall and uh, 61.6 as a, as a pass rusher. So essentially it goes run defense, pass rush, and then coverage for him. PFF says that McGrone is a speedy downhill player who needs some development. I think that's the big word here too, is that he has all of the potential. I think he's shown that he has really good range and motion, but he just needs to develop. Again, I think that that's not too worrisome because we have so many linebackers right now that McGrone in his rookie season was going to have a little bit of a tough time finding his placement anyway. Some of the pros that PFF has from him, they say that his range is his calling card. He can shut down a wide running game on his own. I think that is an excellent uh, selection here by Bill Belichick to really help staple and solidify this run defense. He's explosive on his lower half. He can stack blocks even with limited length. Still very young. I think that's the other thing to, to note here. He's only 20 years old, and he does have only two years of starting experience. So it's good that he does have experience. But again, you're getting a guy who's just 20 years old. Super, super young still. Has so much time to develop. He's also someone who is a very, very good tackler. He really knows how to get low and drive through um, drive through his tackles, essentially. And like I said, maybe he had a little bit of an issue with nine missed tackles in 2019, but didn't have any in 2020. Now, some of the cons here are that he didn't have a single pick or pass breakup in his entire career. Again, reminds me of Hightower. I mean, Hightower didn't have an interception until... Um, I believe the first time the Patriots played the Chiefs a couple of years ago, and he picked off Patrick Mahomes. They say that he is a glorified placeholder in coverage, two positively graded plays uh, all year, basically meaning that he only had two good plays graded in coverage the entire year. Now, while he's a big guy, he's definitely not a lengthy guy, and you can clearly see that on your screen. And so, they do have some concerns on how is that going to transition to the NFL and is it going to be a problem. He also looked lost running seams with tight ends, not very good at tracking the ball. Like I said earlier though, he's definitely going to bring some versatility. He's played on the D-line, he's had some experience in the slot, he's had some experience at corner, had a lot of experience in the box, so experience is this guy's name and that's something that Belichick always loves along with being a Michigan player. He's definitely not someone that I would be comfortable starting day one, but we're not going to be in that situation where we need him to. This isn't a situation like it was a year ago from now. And him learning, sitting back, learning from the Patriots, Bill Belichick, the Patriots coaching staff, but more specifically, learning from guys like Dante Hightower, Kyle Van Noy, Matthew Judon, I think it's really, really, really going to be beneficial for him in the long run. But that's going to be it for today's video. Before we do end this one off, though, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to the sponsors of this video, BetOnline.ag. Now, if you don't know BetOnline, BetOnline has the fastest and easiest ways to bet on all of your sports action. Football might be over for now, but NBA, college basketball, and the NHL is still a full swing. BetOnline even covers awards, TV shows, and reality TV, along with real-time updated odds and props on almost anything you can imagine. BetOnline also has you cover for all of the news, scores, and odds, and it's the best way to place your bets, and it's completely free to sign up. All you guys got to do is head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online, your online sportsbook experts don't sit on the sidelines anymore. Get in with the action and don't forget to use that promo code CLNS50 to receive a 50% off welcome bonus on your first deposit. The New England Patriots add some linebacker depth here with Cameron McGrone in the fifth round. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to give this video a big, big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news and draft coverage. 
I appreciate each and every single one of you for watching, and like always, I'll catch you in the next video.